Hi and welcome to this video which is about the uh, open source routers. So in this video we will be reviewing the VY OS which is an open source uh, router software uh, which you can run it as, as a virtual machine or it can be installed and run on a physical hardware machine. Uh, VY OS is a fork from the Viata. So initially there was a project called Viata which was the same you know like VYOS it was open source and the aim was to create a virtual uh, sorry the open source uh, kind of routing uh, package uh, for for networking people uh, Viata later it got acquired by by Brocade and it became uh, commercial and VYOS became a fork out of the uh, Viata and started deploying it uh, developing it over the community over the op op open source community uh, so now we have a VYOS, uh, uh, which is uh, available to us. You know, we can go, you can go to this website and you can download the stable version, you know, the 118, that's the latest stable version available. Very small footprint, 220 megabyte comes as an ISO file and you can just uh, either download the OVA file or ISO file. Uh, you can run, run, uh, install the ISO file as a CD uh, on a physical server or as a virtual machine in a virtual machine, or you can just download the OVA file and download it on your uh, on your virtual environment. Um, VYOS it has uh, multiple uh, features, not only a routing platform, but it also includes uh, other other features like. Uh, you know, doing lots of different VPN technologies like GREs, IPsec, uh, WireGuard, OpenVPN. Also, it supports uh, doing a configuration through Python and Perl script. You can do some automation with uh, with Python uh, through that. Uh, the command line interface of VYOS is absolutely like Junos. So Juniper Junos, if, if you have experience uh, working with Junos, is very similar to uh, Junos. Uh, so it's all with the set or delete or insert commands and whatever when, whenever you do any changes you have to issue a commit command to activate those changes uh, the routing protocol supported you know BGP OSPF and uh, you know the VPN services uh, VYOS is based on the you know these uh, upstream projects or so FRR routing which we already studied that so you know, that's a routing protocol uh, software stack for Linux. Uh, IC bind, we've got strong swan for uh, for VPN. Uh, we've got open VPN as well, power DNS uh, as a very uh, super fast DNS server with lots of uh, flexibilities, uh, open NHRP and other stuff. Uh, VYOS is based on Linux, it's based on Debian and uh, it includes the uh, the firewall uh, features also. If you go to the to the user guide here here you know, on the right side, it shows almost most of the uh, information about the uh, the supported features, uh, the VLAN sub interfaces, uh, routing, static routing, RIP, OSPF, BGP, and policy based routing. Uh, in the firewall section, it supports zone-based firewalling, so you can create different zones uh, in, in VYOS, assign interfaces, and define rules uh, for traffic being uh, traversing between the firewall zones or 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 over the interfaces. Uh, supports NATing as well, uh, VPN with different uh, type of VPNs, uh, DHCP server, and IP version 6 as well. It supports also clustering. So uh, let's have a look at, uh, at the VY OS. So I got that uh, uh, ISO file downloaded and I have loaded on my uh, Zen. Uh, so we got this virtual machine called VY OS uh, 152. So after you boot up the VY OS, uh, it just gives you the, uh, the login prompt, which you can log in with username and password of VY OS. And uh, that's a prompt. So it's not a Linux prompt. It's a jailed shell for VYOS. So here you have, you can issue commands like show configuration. You know, it's very similar to Juniper. Uh, if I say show 
let me take this a little bit up show interface so the IP address of this machine is 192.168.211.152 uh, we got two interfaces here uh, right now uh, so the other one is Ethernet 1 which is 10.9.9.2 so two interfaces has been connected so you can create as many as you want interfaces uh, on this uh, on VivoIOS you know you can just go here and you know you can add more virtual interfaces currently uh, I need to refresh uh, my Zen manager otherwise uh, currently it doesn't show this uh, currently that the two interfaces which we have uh, so let me try to do a SSH uh, to our to our VivoIOS from here. Okay, so from here, let's do SSH as VivoIOS at 192.168.211.152. Uh, the password is VivoIOS, and we got the same shell. So. VIO is running on Linux kernel version 3.13 and I can do show configuration. So let's have a look at what are like what's the configuration currently we have. Uh, so we got two Ethernet interfaces. These are virtual interfaces currently we got uh, you know they are all presented from our from our Zen hypervisor. Uh, you got the section called protocol so those of you who are not familiar with this format uh, this is uh, in the industry is known as juniper um, kind of uh, configuration uh, you know which is very like you know everything starts with the bracket and close with the bracket uh, protocols bgp uh, as65000 you know it has a neighbor uh, so actually this one is the frr uh, virtual machine, the, the router. So actually, VivoIOS is making a BGP peering with our uh, FRR uh, virtual router uh, with that machine, and we got the static route also the default gateway, which is pointing to to this particular IP. Uh, the SSH services has been enabled uh, for system configuration management. You know the commit revisions. You know we get uh, it managed twenty revisions of the commits, so you can roll back always. And the rest of the stuff, uh, you know, the syslog and the other stuff. Um, let's see if our, uh, our VGP is up. Show I think protocol, show IP VGP uh, summary. Yeah, so IP BGP summary, it shows me that, you know, we got the neighbor uh, 192.168.211.151. This is that FRR uh, machine. And it's up for last uh, 11 minutes. One prefix is being sent. So if I say show IP BGP and neighbor uh, 192.168.211.151 advertise routes. So currently we are advertising only this prefix to the uh to our uh neighbor you can do show ip route to see what we have we got 10.9.999 as well here and there's nothing special actually here um the other command like you know show interface ter Show interface tears is not there but show interfaces shows us all the interfaces and the ip addresses and uh the stuff the stuff uh so you can use that uh, configuration guide you know for uh if you need to apply any specific networking configuration doing routing or uh or you know vpn tunneling to anywhere uh or also you know applying creating a virtual f doing a firewall uh between between few zones so the flexibility of VIOS is that you know Unlike, uh, for example, unlike the VFRR, uh, VivoIOS uh, is like a package. So it's a package complete operating system and all the packages ready with the uh, industry in the st standard uh, command line interface. Uh, so you can use that for quickly deploy it with a two, 220 megabyte uh, footprint. It can be deployed and 
it just does that particular function of the routing, firewalling, and and VPN. Um, you know, it's very flexible. You can just deploy it as a virtual appliance on uh, almost any uh, hypervisor. You can add as many as you want uh, virtual interfaces, and you can deal with those virtual interfaces from the Vivi OS. You can put them in uh, in different firewall zones, or you can use them for connect different type of connectivities, uh, talking OSPF to to a router, talking BGP to another one, and doing the route redistribution between between them. Um, so this was about the the VVIOS demo. You know, uh, so please feel free if you have any question. You know, you can you can write in the forum. Thank you very much.